Hey guys, welcome back to Living Vegan. It's Chris here, and today I wanted to uh, do a little different video, and it's on animal adoption. Um, to start, we recently lost a dog a couple months ago. I uh, have one dog remaining, and we wanted to get a uh, playmate, another dog. We always like having two for some reason. So we wanted to uh, start looking for another dog. Um, as in the past, we've done it. We always adopt. Um, one of the main reasons is there's so many dogs out there that are available for adoption, cats as well, if you're a cat person. But uh, we live here in Austin, Texas, and there are hundreds of thousands of dogs available. You can look up any rescue for any breed you want if you want a specific breed. You can look on the Humane Society, SPCA. You can look at uh, the City Pound. You can look at like Austin Pets Alive. In your area, even if you're not here, there's probably hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dogs just in shelters waiting on, you know, a, a home. And, uh, and one of the things I'm against is breeding. There's so many dogs out there. People don't spay neuter their dogs. They have endless amounts of litters. So just, if you would go to any of these shelters, and I'm sure many of you have, if you haven't, I would advise you just go check out a shelter. Um, you can volunteer time there or just check them out. See how many animals are there before you, uh, either purchase or have someone breed you a dog or something. You can find anything. I mean, we, we like French Bulldogs, Boston Terriers, Pugs, those kind of things. All those rescues are right here. Even if you have to drive, say, 100 miles, something like that, no big deal. It's worth it. Um, some of the pluses of getting a uh, shelter dog, a rescue, an adopted dog, um, you can choose puppy, young, middle-aged, old. You can choose special needs. There's a lot of these dogs that might be... Uh, Let's say maybe I only have three legs. Well, what, it doesn't matter. They, they, they adapt. They're better than us at adapting. They run around just the same. Or they might be a diabetic and you might have to give them an insulin shot. Guess what? They still need love. They still need a home too. So these are things you, could, you can choose to or not. Most of these rescues have all the information on the dogs, like what uh, special diet or, you know, they're good with kids. They're not good with kids. Um, when you buy a dog, you don't know any of that information. So that's a plus of the rescues. Um... We'll be looking for a younger one, puppy to three, four, or five years old, hopefully. Um, and what else? Um, a lot of them will come if they're over a puppy's age, if they're, you know, say one and up. Most of them will come house trained because they've been in foster care and they've been trained, or they'll be crate trained or both. So you get a dog that's already trained, you don't have to go through that puppy stage. A lot of them don't chew because they've already grown out of that. So uh, as long as they're kid friendly, like for us, or dog friendly for us, uh, if you don't have those situations, it doesn't, you know, it'll be all dependent on your situation. So anyway, these are just some great pluses of uh, adopting. I would never buy another dog in my life. I bought my first Boston Terrier. And then I realized when I got, we want another one, just how many dogs are out there in rescues. It's unbelievable. So anyway, if you do have dogs, don't forget to spay and neuter them. Uh, decrease on the population. Like I said, when you see these dogs in shelters, just the life they have to live, it's, it's really, it's heartbreaking. So anyway. Uh, that's my spill on adoption. Please remember and consider it every time you need an animal or would like another animal. And uh, if you ever had to give up an animal for any reason, look up the rescue around you. They'll be more than willing to take them in and try and get them rehomed. So anyway, uh, that's all I have for the day. Any questions, comments, leave them below. Uh, if you've ever adopted, let me know about it. Or if you've ever uh, had a bad experience purchasing, etc., write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Anyway, uh, just remember, cars make us happy.